We are just 26 days away from Election Day with thousands voting by mail every day. There's a U.S. Senate seat open in North Carolina and the race is getting a lot of attention over a sex scandal. The Democratic candidate Cal Cunningham has admitted to sending explicit messages to a woman who's not his wife. Senator Tom Tillis demanding an explanation. Cunningham is only giving an apology. Today, we spoke with Senator Tom Tillis on a number of issues, and our Hunter Signs has you covered with both sides of the political aisle. Hunter? Sarah, with just a few weeks away before those election results start to trickle in, this sexting and cheating scandal has both campaigns responding, but it doesn't seem to be swaying voters yet. Things are heating up in a race that could help decide who keeps or wins a Senate majority in Washington. I feel good. All my vital signs are strong. I feel like I'll get cleared. And Republican I'm Senator Tom Senate Tillis to speaking sure with us today North from Carolina. his Huntersville home as he isolates while battling COVID-19. He says he let his guard down, taking off his mask last weekend during a reception at the White House after the Supreme Court nomination. I don't believe I was infected there. But it's just another example of you should never feel safe. You should always wear a mask. Stuck at home, he's still campaigning, calling on his rival Cal Cunningham for a full explanation after being caught in a cheating scandal with another veteran's wife. This speaks to the credibility of someone who's running for the U.S. Senate and a complete um, just a complete contradiction to the image that he's tried to project over the past several months. Today, North Carolina's Democratic Party chairman saying Cunningham still has his full support. It's not changing people's minds. There may be some people here and there, but it comes down to what do people care about the most. An average of recent polls backs that, showing Cunningham up about five points. A public policy poll of likely voters taken after the scandal broke shows Cunningham up six points. But an ECU poll taken this past weekend shows Tillis up by one. Cunningham's campaign responding in part, saying, quote, Tillis is trying to exploit a personal matter to make desperate attacks and hopes it saves his political career. And Tillis maintains that this cheating scandal should matter to voters. Now, I've reached out to Cal Cunningham's campaign multiple times over the last few days asking for an interview with Cal Cunningham, but those requests either were denied or went unanswered. Clearly, that campaign is in crisis management with just 26 days to go before Election Day. Live in Charlotte, Hunter Signs, WCNC Charlotte. All right, Hunter, thank you for that report.